In this Apple HomePod advertisement you can see this super cool colorful text animation and we will easily create something similar in After Effects today. So let's first of all create a new composition and just use the normal settings and yeah, let's add a background by right clicking in here, going to new and let's add a solid and I'll just use a white background so make sure the color is white and just hit ok. Now we can right click again in here and add a new text and I'll just type in some normal sentence like be creative and now we can't see anything because the text is white and the background is white so let's just hide the background we'll create to adjust the text a little bit. So let's first of all scale this up by pressing S on the keyboard to access the scale settings while having the text layer selected and just turning up this value just like this and now we can also go to the align tab on the right and align it horizontally and vertically and if you don't see these settings make sure to go to window and check if align is checked here and yeah now we can go to the effects and presets tab and look for the one and most important effect which is the four color gradient effect and just apply it to this layer and now that we have some colors in here we can just unhide the background again just like this and yeah if we click on this text and click on the four color gradient effect we can see that these yeah color points are in the corners and we don't want that we will done and we don't want that, we actually want it to be like a gradient going from the left to the right. And to do this, let's first of all go to this little setting in here and make sure that proportional grid is activated so we can actually yeah, move these points more precisely. And yeah, let's just go to the beginning of our animation, so to the left on the timeline and just replace these points a bit and yeah, let's select the upper one and just bring it to this yeah, left side, middle left side then just yeah, go in two steps and rearrange the other points so this one will go yeah, two steps to the right then let's take this one and again put it two steps from this one away actually right in the center and the last one again two steps away in the middle just like this and yeah, this is good. Make sure that, yeah, as I said, you are at the beginning of our animation. And now let's just put in keyframes to all these points, to the coordinates. So just, yeah, check the settings in here, just like I do. And then we can go forward to, yeah, wherever you want this animation of moving colors to end, like one or two seconds. I'll just go to one and a half seconds. And now we can just move these points to the right by two steps, just like this, like this, like this, and like this. And yeah, now if we would play this animation and we can actually now deactivate the grid, we can see that this is just a super cool and clean yeah, animated gradient now. And yeah, this is good. This may take some time to pre-render, but yeah, I think this looks amazing. Of course, you are free to yeah, change these colors because I think by default they are quite strong, so you could change them by by hand. Or I'll just like to use a um, hue saturation effect and just turn down the saturation a little bit, so it's not that super strong. But this is completely up to you. And yeah, that's it basically. I really hope you enjoyed this one and make sure to subscribe for more of these Apple design yeah, replicas and After Effects and hopefully I'll see you next time.